Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for earth sign energies. Please take what resonates and leave what does not. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for fire. I'm sorry, earth sign energies. If you would like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. If you would like to purchase a membership or get a sticker to help support this channel, you can find that in the thanks section. All right. I scurried the crystal for you today, Earth Sign Energies, and a lot came out in the crystal, so bear with me as I try to explain everything I saw in detail. Um, I wrote a lot of it down, too, so um, let's start off with the first thing I saw. Um, the first thing I saw within the crystal <clears throat> was a very large hawk, and this was a, a brown hawk, and it, like, was enormous. It was like covering up the, the upper part of the crystal, and it was like flying down, and its wings took over most of the above space. Um, from that point, I saw a, it brought to mind a dream catcher on earth, and I saw like a desert, you know, ground, and I saw a dream catcher, but it wasn't a traditional dream catcher that you usually see with the netting in the center and being circular. This was like a different shape, and I just can't quite pinpoint it. Um, to me, it was like almost triangular, um, and there was two black feathers hanging from it. And the hawk was flying above this. And, you know, black feathers, you know, uh, symbolize uh, death. So, you know, take it how it resonates. It could mean something completely different for you. Um, the the hawk, after I looked at the, the feathers and I looked back up at the hawk, I could see the hawk's face change where it looked almost dove-like in appearance. So it was like a symbol of peace. So perhaps someone found peace. Uh, if they died or passed, perhaps they found peace is what that is, you know, symbolizing, you know, so tell you how it resonates, you'll have to let me know how that applies to you in the comment section. Um, the next image after seeing that, I saw a man, it reminded me of a man, um, they were wearing like a winter coat, and I couldn't make out any features, so it was the back of a man uh, walking through the snow, and he was carrying a smaller figure, like into the horizon, and it reminded me of like a female figure, so whoever this was was like carrying this figure, you know, off into the horizon. So, um, take it how it resonates. It'll apply differently to everyone. A hawk could be your spirit animal. Like I always say, you could have more than one spirit animal. Hawk symbolizes a connection to God and the divine. Um, keeping your eyes, you know, open, you know, to the spiritual realm. All right, let's get into your reading. First card to come out for you was the Six of Swords. So this is moving on to calmer waters, moving, you know, past things that no longer serve you. Next card out is the Queen of Wands. So this could be your energy where you're sitting, you know, on your throne. You know, you're sitting in your, you know, your high rank here. Uh, the Queen of Wands is sassy, hot-tempered, but also a good witch. Uh, this is someone that's very intuitive. Uh, next card out is the Fool card. So that you're taking a chance on something. You know, you're starting, you're embarking on something new. And that is going to bring your Ten of Cups here. So you're going to have your Ten of Cups, your, you know, your joy, your happiness overflowing here next card out is the three of wands so you know you've been waiting for this this is something you've been waiting for and you're going to receive your ten of cups and the next card out is judgment so god is you know giving you you know good karma all the good karma that you put out into the world you're going to receive good karma back and if anyone has hurt you they're going to receive you know judgment for that next card out for you is the two of cups so this is soulmate energy here you know, that kind of coincides with the individual that was carrying uh, the female through the snow. So this is someone that always, you know, has your back whenever you're weak and you cannot walk and, you know, you can't carry yourself and the burdens of life seem too much. This person carries you and helps you get through, you know, difficult times. Next card out is the star card. So this is wish fulfillment, things being granted, being connected to the spiritual realm, manifesting dreams. So, you know, beautiful energy here. Uh, next card out is elder wisdom. So this card symbolizes, you know, being around someone or remembering things that people taught you that you considered wise, you know, remembering things from childhood from someone that you respected and, you know, holding on to that wisdom. Next card out is Pine Awakening. So this card, you know, coming out is letting you know that you're very spiritually in tuned, that you have a spiritual gift and that, you know, your psychic abilities, you know, are very awake at this time and, you know, you're very connected, you know, to the spiritual realm. Um, it, this medicinal benefits of this tree help has, you know, high vitamin C. Um, it 
you know, has lots of medicinal benefits as, you know, far as, you know, being able to use the pine needles, you know, and make a tea out of it. So it's edible. It has been used, you know, for insect bites, uh, burns, um, a remedy for, you know, coughs. Uh, it's been used on wounds, you know, so it has lots of medicinal benefits, you know, so take it how it resonates. But also, you know, it's also representing the, you know, the pineal gland of the uh, third eye, you know, being open. So, you know, you're very connected to the spiritual realm at this time and you're, you know, you have lots of spiritual gifts, you know, and God is blessing you here is what I see. All right, earth sign energies, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.